So this class and this class we will be going over um, how to highlight a listing or possibly an open house on your InTouch agent website. Um, and this is relatively easy to do, but also complicated at the same time. Uh, so we're going to head into our InTouch um, and we're going to go into the back end and we're going to hit on the marketing tab at the very top on the blue line um, and we're going to hit on edit we're going to click edit site so from this we're going to get to pages and menus if yours does not look like mine do not panic i teach this for a living so i have a lot of extra stuff um, and you'll see there's lots and lots of different pages um, in here and i have a lot of stuff on my site um, so let's say that I have an open house coming up and I would like to feature that on my website. Um, I would like to give it its own tab. So I would like people to be able to go. I said, go to my website, click on the open house tab. You'll see what open houses I have coming up. Um, I can hit this add button here and I can add a page for that. Um, the benefit of doing it that way is I can unpublish that page um what i want let's make that a little larger um and keep that page but not have it live on my website if i don't have an open house i don't want anybody to see nothing um or to see something that's old and outdated but i can also go through and republish it at a later time um, so when i click on the add button up here i'm going to be able to give it a name and go through and add that custom content um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this one and edit the page and we're going to see the same information. So here I already have some custom content. Um, I'm able to go in uh, through the menu bar, uh, the menu button and hit edit. Um, I do have an upcoming open house. This I have chosen to use um, my background so I have a primary accent color whatever your primary color is in yours mine's the Cobalt Banker blue and I've hit next and here it's stop by my open house this Saturday so let's see this Saturday is March 20th um, from 12 to 2 p.m. Um, this is where I have the opportunity to put a photo in so I'm just going to hit the photo button I'm going to choose um, the photo from my computer of of my property and I'm going to upload that image and select the file from my computer. Um, so I just want to go in and find that particular property, um, whatever it is that I have listed. Um, so let's just say I have this property listed. Here's my open house this weekend or maybe I'm doing an open house for another agent. Um, that's a big thing too. I'm just going to get the photo. I can put it on my website. I can add, you know, if it's one, two, three Main Street, I can add that as the meta description. And here's a nice large photo. Um, and then I can go in and I can hyperlink that. Just visit for more information. If I do that, where would I like that to go? Um, so I'm actually going to look that property up on my website. Um, so let's, for a very good example, let's pretend like I'm having Emmerich Drive um, open this weekend. Um, I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to type in 1021 Emmerich, and it's going to pop up. Doesn't have to be my listing, but it's going to pop up. And then here's the information for the property. I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, left click one time on the browser. I'm going to right click and hit copy. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to say visit 1021 Emmerich Drive um, for more information. Um, or another thing I like to say is discover the details here. Maybe discover the property details here. 
I want to tell it where I want to go before I link it. So it's like a GPS. I have to put the address in first. Then it's going to give me the directions. So here I'm telling it where I want to go. So what these are the words that are going to be linked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight any of the words that I would like to link. And I'm going to click this link button here. I'm going to go ahead and paste the URL in here. I'm going to target this in a new window. I'm going to hit OK. So now I've discovered the property details here. If I would like to make this photo smaller, I may do so. Um, I can also take this text and make it larger. So right now, everything that I have on this side of my menu bar is not working. I do have a help desk check it in. There's a glitch in my system. Yours should work fine. Um, but that's why I'm kind of being a little cautious with how I'm writing things. Um, but then I can hit next. And I want to save this information. So now I've saved it. Um, let's say I have an additional open house coming up this weekend. Um, I can add a widget and go ahead and add some more custom content. I can add, you know, open house this weekend. Um, maybe because I already had that, now I don't need to add anything for a headline. Uh, maybe I want this background to be white. And again, I can go in and type the information that I need. Um, if I need to center it, I can do that again. I apologize. Mine is not working from here over. Um, but I can center that. I can go into the system, choose my photo, upload my image, select my file, find the property that I'm going to have open this weekend. Um, and, you know, maybe it's and, and I never Actually, let me not pick that one. I definitely highly recommend using a landscape photo um, if you can. So we'll use this one. Um, we're going to put the photo in again. We can add the, the property um, address here. I can always take this photo, click on it, make it a little bit smaller. Again, you can click this button here to center it. Mine is not working. Um, and then under here is where I can again type that information. Um, again, I want to go to my website. I want to find the property that I am holding open um, just by going into my home screen, typing in that particular address. Um, so like I did before, let's say again, I'm holding Emmerich open. I'm going to type in 1021 Emmerich. I'm going to find that property. And remember, again, this doesn't have to be my property. Maybe I'm holding this open house for another agent. That's OK, but I wanted to go to my website. I want them to get information from my website um, and I can click on that link. And I can link that here. Um, so you'll see that all I did then was I highlighted and I pasted. Um, so I can also just highlight that. Hit that little link button, paste that URL in, hit the new window and hit OK. Um, now, maybe I want to send someone to my single property website. Maybe this is my listing and I'm having it open this weekend and I want to show my listing concierge single property website. Um, I can just go into listing concierge via desk. Um, I can go into my order and I can find that single property website. So here I'm in Jessica's, um, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to find that website. And then I'm literally just going to copy that link. So branded website. And I'm going to go back in and I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to take the other one out. And when I when I tag that, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. <coughs> Excuse me. And hit next. And hit save. So now I have two open houses. Maybe I have one on Saturday and then maybe I have one on Sunday. Um, I always need to hit this preview and save button or I am not finished. I can build all of this. If I were to leave this now, it will be gone forever. Please always remember to preview and save. Um, I'm going to see what it's going to look like on the mobile, on the tablet, on the desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now it's saved. But if you were to go to my website right now and you were to hit my home screen, 
um, and you were to go to the very, very bottom, you're not going to see this information. And why is that? Because I haven't published the page yet. Um, so here I'm just going to X out at the very top to get rid of that screen. And upcoming open houses, I'm going to go ahead and publish that page. I also need to save when I'm done. Um, so now when someone goes to my site, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Um, you're going to see over here on the side, because I have way too many tabs, upcoming open house. Um, so when they come into my website, they're going to see that upcoming open house. They can get in, stop by my open house this Saturday, discover the property details here. And that's what I was saying. Be careful with that blue background. Um, because hyperlinks are very hard to see. So that might be where I go back in and change it to a white background. View the property details here. If someone clicks on that, they're going to my website to see that property information. And again, I didn't actually use a real, I just used what I had in my system. Um, down here, I have some additional information. Again, you're able to center to change the font type, the size, all of that. Again, mine's a little wonky today. It's not working. Uh, but here I have additional information on the bottom. When the open houses are over, I can just go in and unpublish the page and hit the save button. Now, when someone goes into my website, it was all the way to the right. It's not going to be there anymore where I still have that information there. I don't have to recreate the wheel next time, um, but when someone comes into my website, they're not going to see that. Um, you'll see I had hit the refresh button and, and nothing was happening because it was gone. So now it's not there anymore. It's gone. Um, the other thing that you have the ability to do um, when you want to market your listings on your website is you have the ability to take your listing concierge information and post it directly on your website. So you'll see your Alicia had taken her just listed information, classic for town home, this is literally this classic brick townhome down to the photo is literally her social media tactic from listing concierge. Um, so we just took that and put it on the site, discover the details here. We do have the link for her single property website for this particular listing so that'll it'll take it a second to pop up. Um, so there it is. Um, and she also has her video tour with the music because this is a brand new list. Uh, um, don't have the voiceover professional video just yet, um, but she also has that here. An added benefit to this is because she's already done the work, when this property goes under contract or it settles, she's able to go in and copy this information and maybe add a tab up here of, you know, view my marketing. And I can have a seller go and look at that. Hey, look, you get this, you get this, you get this. Like, it's nice to say that I'm going to create a video for you, but until you actually see the video that I've created, you're unimpressed necessarily. Um, you know, it's great to say you're going to get your own website, but then when they get there and they see the website and they see that everybody, you know, can click through all of those beautiful, wonderful um, photos of the property that, you know, it doesn't matter how much the property costs. Like, there's lots and lots and lots of photos. Um, and there's a buyer for every property. Um, and I apologize, my Google's not working well today. Uh, my, my computer is having issues. Um, but here's all of Alicia's information. So that's the other added bonus, is now someone's gone to my main website and they're also getting to the single property website for this particular property. Um, so that's just an added way as well. And you would just go into it. Actually, I'm going to go into Alicia's just because mine is being so finicky today. Again, I do apologize. I have a help desk ticket in um, for them to update mine, um, but we're just going to go into hers. So I'm going to be able to show you what that's going to look like from the back end and also how to create it from the back end. Um, so when we go into website and we go into edit site, um, we put that information on the home page. 
Um, so we're able to go in via desk and we also want to open up our listing concierge information. Um, so I'm going to go in as Alicia. And I know she won't mind. Um, and I'm going to go into my manage order. And that's really where I can find all of this information. So here I have that social media banner. And when I click through, <coughs> was something that I had already created. Um, so here I'm able to just download this to my computer. Um, I want to download the high resolution because I always want it to look crisp and clean and beautiful. Um, so it will take it just a moment. Don't panic if you don't see it right away. It's just because it's a large photo. And then I'm going to open that. Mine opens everything in paint. Um, and I'm going to save it on my computer somewhere where I'm going to be able to find it. So let's say I save it in pictures as um, social. Uh, well, actually for this, I'm going to say um, Lindale Avenue. And I'm just going to put a one there so that it is there. I'm going to hit save. So then I'm just going to save that to the computer. Um, I'm going to go in through InTouch. I'm going to open up the page. I'm going to open up my edit page and I'm going to scroll down. And this is where we would hit a widget and we would hit custom content. Because I'm going to create this from scratch. Uh, I just want to show you real quick what it's going to look like. So you'll see here kind of what it looks like, how we have it all mapped out. Um, but to create that from scratch, I'm just going to hit widget up here in the right hand corner and I'm going to create some custom content. Uh, maybe I want to write, you know, just listed. Um, I can write it in, you know, however I want the headline to read. Um, hit the next button. You'll see here I have a blank slate. Um, so maybe I that's where I want to say, you know, just listed. Well, I've already said that in the headline. So again, I don't need a headline if I don't want one. Um, so I've said just listed. I want to put that in the middle. I want to make it bold. Maybe I want to put it in italics. And then I want to add that photo um, because it's already created for me. I don't have to format anything in the system. I'm going to hit the photo button third from the right. I'm going to hit the choose button. I'm going to upload my own image and select the file. Um, I'm going to go to pictures where I have it. I'm going to go down and find that particular photo. So here it is right here, that 3336 Lindale Avenue. And I'm going to upload. This is where I'm also going to add the um, information here. The property, I'm going to add listed by my name with Cobalt Banker Realty. What that's going to do is Cobalt Banker Realty is something that the search engines like to look for. It's also going to pull it up for my name. It's also going to pull it up with the address. That just gives that the opportunity for more people to find it in Google. I'm going to save it. And you'll see here it came up. It's very, very large. So maybe I want to shrink that down just a little bit. Again, I can always come back in here and play with it later. I can make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit smaller. <clears throat> I can make this text bigger if I want um, and change the spacing. Then from there, underneath, if I would like to include that single property website, um, I'm just going to go into my listing concierge. I'm going to go into my order management and I'm going to look for that video slideshow. So here actually I have the professional video. So here's this professional video. I can go in, I can hit copy link, branded professional video, and I'm gonna copy that link. Now I can't use that link to embed the video on my website. So if I wanted to play directly from my website, um, what I really wanna do is open a tab and paste that YouTube URL in there and go to YouTube. Now you'll see it's gonna come up really, really large. It doesn't give me the option to do much of anything. So I'm gonna go down and hit this YouTube button and it's gonna pop up for me. This classic brick townhome features a coach. And that's my professional voiceover. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it and I'm gonna use the embed code. So it's got that greater than less than. So I'm gonna click that 
all of the Swahili is going to come up on the side, so I'm just going to hit copy. So again, that was going to YouTube, hitting share, hitting embed, and hitting copy. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to find that section that I'm in. I want to put this on the very bottom so I can just hit the source code and paste it at the bottom and hit OK and you'll see that's going to pop up that video. Now, let's say that I don't want this video to come up on the bottom. Let's say that I have lots and lots and lots and lots of text in here, and then I decide I want my video to be here. What I can do, depending on where I want it on the page, I just take a letter and I put the letter the whole way across. Now, you might think I'm nuts. There is a method to my madness. If I go into source code, see, I can see where all those A's are. I can put my cursor right at the beginning. I can paste that source code in and hit OK. And now I can take all the A's and take them out. But here I have that text underneath. I have that text above. If I've already created a bunch of other things, I can put that video exactly where I want it, anywhere on that page very, very easily. Um, so I'm going to take out all of my jargon. Um, and maybe I want to talk about, um, you know, discover the details here. Um, I could take them to my single property website. Um, so again, that's just going to be um, going to listing concierge, um, going to order management, going to that um, website there view website it's going to pop up i'm going to left click make it blue i'm going to right click and hit copy um, and then i'm going to go in here and again if i want to hyperlink it i'm going to type what i want to hyperlink first um, now there are two ways to do this i can highlight it like i did before hit the insert link button i can paste it in and have it open a new window and hit ok I like to do that because I want it to open in a new window or I can just highlight what I want and hit control V. And it's automatically going to paste that in there. Now, I don't know if that's going to come up in a new window. So again, I'm a little funny about going in the long way and opening that in a new window. I can hit next. I can review everything and hit save. Now that's going to come up at the very, very bottom. If I would like to bring that up my website um, to the top, it's never going to be over this main hero image here, but I want it to be the very first thing that you see underneath. I would just go in and hit this button here and move up. So you can move up as many times as you would like. And then I'm going to preview and save. And I'm going to save. So let's go back to Alicia's site. And we're going to refresh it. So we have that original that her and I have already done. And then here at the bottom, we have what we just created, just listed. Here's that classic for townhome. Remember, this was the social media tile. I didn't have to do any kind of anything there. I just put it in there. Um, discover the details here and that professional video. This classic brick townhome features a cozy. And then if we want to discover the details, it's going to take us to that single property website. That just gives us the option of sharing that information with everyone. Um, and again, if I want to take the front information, I'm going to go to the actual YouTube site. I'm going to hit that YouTube button and go to the YouTube site, hit share, hit embed, and hit copy. <coughs> now for hers, you can see that I had put this information all the way on the bottom. Once that property is no longer available, I can hit delete. Just know that if you delete it, it is gone forever. Um, but let's say that I wanted to add that information somewhere else. I could always go in and copy and paste this to another section of my website. Um, and then here. Maybe I want to make sure that, you know, because we had the original property tour with the music, we can take that one out now. We can add the source code 
Um, and again, I'm just going to open up this button here for source code. I'm going to paste in that source code here and hit OK. And there's that video. Um, if I place my cursor to the right hand side and I hit align center, it's going to put it in the middle. I'm going to hit next and save. And just remember, it's not live yet until I preview. And I save. And then now when Alicia goes to her website, instead of the old video, now we're going to have that new video where it's going to have that professional voiceover. This classic brick townhome features a cozy front porch. And you always have the ability to add a page, um, just like we did with the open house, where you add that page um, and you can go in and you can put examples of your marketing um, to be able to use that on any of your listing appointments. You can use that for your open houses to get the word out. Um, you can use that link on your website to push out to social media. Um, but just a really great way to give your to give you an edge and give you some custom content on your website um, that might not otherwise, you know, be available and give you also some extra custom content for social media. Once you've put it on your website, you're able to share that out as well. Um, any anybody have any questions?